outgoing Minister of Education, Adamu, Adamu has disclosed that he knew nothing about the education sector when Buhari first appointed him in 2015. The minister disclosed this at a validatory section with official and heirs of parastatus of the ministry on Thursday 25th. Adamu, who is the longest serving minister, said he was able to make an impact an impact by appointing some professors of education and other good hands with the help of the officials of the Federal Ministry of Education. He appreciated Buhari, who found him worthy and trusted him with such a responsibility, even when I was apparently not ready and unprepared for such tasks. You see, he said, and I quote, I didn't know anything about the education sector when I was appointed minister, except superficially but when buhari decided to make me minister of education i called some people to assist me work on policy documents on education because i was novice in the sector i shared my idea with them and they assisted me greatly and i remain grateful to them for these years i was busy making recommendations and suggestions to the president on who to appoint into his cabinet in 2015 all of a sudden he announced my name to my surprise and that was that was it we worked together till 2019 in 2019 i approached the president and suggested that he reshuffle his cabinet because in the eyes of many it was unusual in our society for a president to work with same minister for four years buhari had graciously allowed these ministers to stay in office for four years ordinarily ministers stay in office for two years before they are reshuffled but I know him very well, and I knew it would be difficult for him to do that. But I decided to make it easy for him by promising to bring people that would do the job better for me and others who served as ministers in the first tenor. I promised him that I would give him names of competent people from at least 19 northern states. So I suggested him to drop all the ministers that worked with him in the first tenor, including me. But I knew it would be difficult for him. But to confirm that I can do the job, I gave him a name from Bauchi State, whom I had expected him to replace with me in the cabinet. That was how Miriam Katagun became Minister of the Federal Republic. Up to now, he never explained to me why he did that. However, I remain eternally grateful to the President for trusting me with such responsibilities. He has shown me love and trust over the years. In 1994, when we picked up assignments in Petroleum Trust Fund, he gave me an offer to work with him as personal assistant. That was how I found myself in Abuja. Adamu appreciated other people that worked with him, particularly Good Luck Opia, who served briefly as Minister of State for Education. He described him as a brother whom he worked closely with with to achieve the desired results in the education sector. Can we say of a, of a truth that uh, it is true that the education sector under this man is is on uh, is top notch. You see the way he didn't know nada. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Let's hear what Nigerians are saying though because not my mother go for a year or more. We all know now the handwriting was very clear. It must be a northerner till we stop that if not this country can never work this right up is sick how can he you be talking about minister for education okay and put minister a minister of water resources whichever one you are talking about well kayamutu said the same thing god delivered nigeria from the hands of apc and now this one that says it is turn to loot want to continue from where Buhari stops very shameful to the professor we have I knew the man is totally blind, even with the way some important subjects were dis were scrapped out from secondary school. Some subjects were scrapped from secondary school. No more history. You brought in competent minister to finish the country to zero, zero level. What a pity! We are not surprised why things are not working. Incompetent is another name for Buhari government. Incompetent minister. Can you just hear yourself? He knows nothing about education, yet he was appointed Minister of Education. Nigeria, my country, no one that things fall apart about education. Adamu, come, Damu, all students of Nigeria. Honestly, 
Nigeria man is hard for them to give up and offer. That is why the big we continue to offer good things to those who know nothing in what they are doing. We are appointed incompetent hands to handle the affairs of the nation. From the central bank governor to almost all the ministers, no wonder that his government was in disarray and the, in the country. You, you are a good man with big heart, but the president knows everything. That is why we have series of strikes in our universities. Incompetence results to deficiency. You can't give what you don't have. That explains your shoddy, abysmal performance. May such individuals never be picked to lead my sectors again. Even as an accountant and is given posts of finance minister, he won't even be able to perform credibly. He destroyed the education sector for eight years and no regrets from him and his master. But they are telling you that they have done well now. They have done well. Square peg in round hole. Even your name suggests that because it is opposite of education, just like your counterpart in information parastata. Besides, why are you saying it now after the after wasting the eight years? APC is a curse to Nigeria. You people have taken us from top to bottom and still want to go below the bottom by inaugurating another president didn't even win an election. That was why you messed up the job. Increase the number of our school children and prolong our strike. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.